and welcome to your Beautyo, your favourite Beautyo blog. We are back doing what we normally do, nearly, we're kind of unboxing, but I've got some stuff. I might not be unboxing it, but I'm going to show you exactly what i got, because this is quite a nice little haul. There is a little bit of a sad story behind it, if I'm brutally honest. But we'll start right at the beginning, because I wasn't expecting this to be there originally. As you may well know, the Chasers Club had their first club open. It was a pretty good day, but on the side of it, there was some stuff being sold. Less said about how I did in the tournament, the better, so we'll skip on from that. Lost all three of my group games, then lost in the first round of the plate. Didn't go very well, so we'll forget talking about that. But there was a stall. Many of you will know Chris Burford, the creator of the Spirit Revival Group. Well, he was selling a load of Spirito. A load of Spirito. And as I said, a little bit of a sad story behind it. If you're from within the Spirito community, many of you will know Roland Lyons sadly passed away a few months ago. Well, he had tons of Spirito. And Chris Burford's been helping the family get rid of all that. Trying to raise some money for family, everything that goes with it, including funeral costs. And he was selling it at the Chasers tournament, so... You know me, I see Sabuto, I have to buy it. And the good news is, right, I think I've got a lot here. Other people bought a lot as well. But there's a fair at the end of October. If you're watching this after October 2022, forget this bit, you don't want to hear it. But at the end of October, there is a Sabuto Collector's Fair up north. Sadly, I can't get to it. I've got so much going on that weekend. Family, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it, I've got it all. I can't make it that way. Now, I'm really glad because I've never actually met I've never, ever been able to get up to that one. But there is a collector's fair. All the details of it will be coming up on your screen now as well. It's one of the best collector's fairs around, so I strongly suggest you get there. And while you're there, head over to see Chris Burford and have a look at this stuff that belonged to Roland because there is some seriously good bits in it. Tons of stuff. Unpainted teams, painted teams. The man created so many custom teams. I'm telling you, I was going through for ages. There is a treasure trove of stuff still left. And what better way to honour Roland for all that stuff to go out and stay within the Subutio community. I think that's absolutely fantastic. So all the money, like I said, is going all straight back to his family. It's absolutely fantastic. Do you want to see what I've got? Look, there it is, over my shoulder. Woo! It's all down there. Let's have a look, I'll show you what I've got. Let's head right down to the table and you can check out what I got. All right, let's start you off. So let's start you off with my favorite. Let's start you off with the one that I saw in a box and I was just like, who are these? Because Roland has clearly rebased these themselves. It took me a while to find out exactly what they were. But that is a Man City reference 63341, a Hasbro figure that has been rebased on a pink base. No box. But I just thought, I looked at them and I was like, I want them. More to, more to find out what kit it was. I wasn't sure it was going to be a Coventry or a Man City. There we go. Man City 63341, Hasbro. On a lightweight base. And this is what, this was the beauty, right, of a lot of Roland stuff. There was combinations, there was hybrids, all sorts that he's put together himself. Love it, absolutely pucker. On to the next one, we then got an Inter Milan. Modern Inter Milan. Champions League box. And although the box, there it is, it's very basic, it's a modern figure. We all know the modern figures, a lot of people don't like them because they're too flimsy. Personally, I think that's a good idea. But this box, right? These boxes, uh, these come up a lot. When I originally bought one of these, I got an Ace, no, who was it? No, Leicester. I bought a Leicester one of these because it was a Leicester sticker on the Champions League box. I was like, I've got to have a Leicester. These stickers aren't actually original to the boxes. Sputio will put them on themselves to make them look like the teams. Is it cheeky? Is it clever marketing? You decide for yourselves. Let me down in the comments. But that's it at Milan. We then got the, we then got Southampton on a modern base. Can't fault it. It is what it is. It's a modern base, but it's a Southampton. We then got an Ireland as well. They've all fallen a bit everywhere, but good deal. Let's get one of these out because these modern teams, this is what people always don't realise. They go, oh, they're rubbish, they're rubbish. They don't have a charm of an old heavyweight. Come on, focus for me, baby, focus. He won't focus, will he? Look at the detailing on that. It's got badge detail. They're really well painted. In fact, the next team I'll be able to show you, you'll see a little bit better. But, hey, a lot of people don't like them. I like them, you know me. It's a beauty, though. Oh, I'm having it. They're all going to fall. Oh. Everything else after this is away go, but look at that. Real Madrid away. It's a few years old away, but this is where you realise. Got a little Real Madrid ball. No, where is it? Little Real Madrid ball. Boo, 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 boo. Can't fault that. But this is where you don't realise with these teams. Got flicking keeper in this set as well. Quite nice. This. But look at that. Look at the detail on him. Let me see if I can bring him up closer. And we'll change the focus. Look at it, the badge details, brilliant. The Adidas size, they're brilliant. You can see the Fly Emirates. Looks absolutely awesome. How can you not love these teams? 
The detailing on them is amazing. These come out of Spain. These ones weren't so much made by Paul Lamond. These were made by, is it all, whoever, who is it? I forgot. These were 11 false. There you go, look. These were 11 false in Spain. That's nice, I've been after one of them for a while. So really glad to get my hands on that. And then, look at it all, there's a way he goes. So many random teams. Don't even know half of them are. They're all heavyweight bases. Someone let me know in the comments. Who is Navarra? I have no idea. But I looked here and I thought, never heard of them. People ask me for random. Let's have be open. People ask me for random teams on TikTok. So I thought, you know what? We'll get Navarra. And it is. It, it's a blue. Look at the nice badging. Can't afford it. Navarra. Zoego. That one's done. Oh, we got an original spirit. I said I only had things left. Aston Villa, 704. Yeah, so I did get a lightweight as well. One of the few Aston Villas I've got. Do you know what I never find? People that actually, people that collect stuff, right? Do you ever find you buy stuff and you have loads of versions of one? I've got loads of Man Cities, loads of Man United, loads of Aston Villas, but they're all different in some way. Anyway, back to the way it goes. Palermo, in there pink, real men wear pink. Westy, I know you'll be watching. You like it, you like the old pink. It is what it is. It's a very basic Palermo kit. Loving life on that one. Genoa. Or Genoa, depending on how you say it. Bum, bum, bum. Get one out and show you. Look at that. Very nice. Anyone wants to know how the old heavyweight Zoegos flick? Just like that. Bear in mind, he's not polished. No flick too sad, does it, eh? They don't flick too bad. I've got to get him back in the box so I can get you the next team. Ross County! 308, why have I got a Ross County? Because I have to have as many different teams as possible. And this is a nice one. I like the strap on this one, look. Oh, I did, I lie. I told you they was all heavyweight bases. They weren't, so this is the modern base. So these, anyone who's watching this wants to get back into Scutio. I've done videos on this before, but look, the modern flatter base, this is what people play with more competitively. Less likely to fall over, unless I'm flicking it like that. Less likely to fall over. So away goes a very good entry into that range because they can be really expensive for these teams. But as away you go, cost you 10, 15 quid. On another note, how nice is that, Ross County? Loving that. Let's get that back in the box so we can get another one out and show you. I keep putting on this silly accent. Uh, Leche. Nice yellow and, well, I'm not even going to get that because you can see it nicely through there, can't you? Nice yellow and red. Loving that one. Catania. I'm not sure where they're from. Again, someone in the comments, let me know. Catania, they're all a bit glossy, Zawago figures, a lot glossier than Sabutio ones. But I've said it before, Zawago is the brand that Sabutio should be nowadays. Sabutio, oh, come on, you can create teams like this. We got an Italy 22. It's just an Italy, but I like the badge on it, and I like the baby blue as well. I do like the baby blue. Karma, Karma 34. This is, this, this is a classic heavyweight kit, this is. In Zawago form. Palmer. Oh, loving that one. Loving that one. What else we got? We got Belgium. Belgium have had a few kits over the years. It's on a modern base again. Look, trying to flick it around so you can see it. There it is. Wow, if only you could hear next door's dogs howling. They must have gone out. Wow, they're howling away. They're obviously missing. That's a nice Belgium. I can never, ever say the name of this team properly. Brugia Mucin Gladback. I'm just going to call her Brugia Gladback because I always get it wrong. But again, it's a nice looking kit. This would look nice in a real old school heavyweight. There it is. Go there if you can hear the dogs. That's nice. That's a nice design, that kit. Loving that. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I'm running out of room. Get on a tassel run. I've got a Fenabachi somewhere. Where's he gone? Dropped him. I've got a Fenabachi somewhere, so I needed a Galatasaray right to go with it. We've got to have some derbies. That's nice. I really like that one. I don't know those what years these kits relate to. Because obviously kits change over years. Let me know down in the comments. Look at me asking for comments. We'll come back on that one. Who's this? Greased. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is a nice machine print. I said they was all on heavyweight bases. They're not. Look, this is on a flat base. That's nice. The detailing. Oh, I don't like modern figures. There's no, there's no heart or charm to them. Look at it. Look at the detailing. You can get on a modern figure. Wherever it is. Away you go. Hand painted by someone else. Russia. Oh, don't talk about the Russians at the moment. We'll do this one really quick. There you go, Russia. Don't want to get blocked by YouTube for showing off Russian stuff. YouTube, don't block me. For educational purposes only. And then Bologna 7. Where is it? Out you come, Bologna. 
Dun -dun -dun -dun. Can't fault it. He looks angry, doesn't he? Look at his face. Christ, he looks really angry. And then the last one in a Zawago box. It's not actually a Zawago figure. It's a Sabutio Hasbro. And what was I saying earlier about having loads of the same team? It's another Man United, but it's one I didn't have. Hasbro away. Sharp view cam, does that say on it? That dates it, doesn't it? Sharp view cam. Loving these figures. How's that? It's a nice little haul. Right there. Just how cool with some of them teams, right? Honestly, I'm so glad to have them. You know what? Having spoken to Roland a lot before about Sabiru, especially when I first started collecting, having some of his stuff in my collection, yeah, that's quite nice. It's, I'm glad I can continue it on in the collection. I know that other people that have bought that stuff will too as well. Make sure you head up to that collector's fair at the end of October. Details coming up on your screen again right now. You should be able to read all them. Like I said, sadly, I can't be there. Life takes precedent over Sabutio and stuff like that. I'll be back very soon with a kind another unboxing, showing you some more stuff as we do. And I don't know what's happened to the camera, but it's showing off a cool farm t-shirt. Loving that. I'll be back really soon, talking nothing but Sabutio on your favourite and the original Sabutio vlog on YouTube. I'll see you all very soon. And as always, keep on...